and welcome back to CGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my country home. Today is a very exciting video because today we are investigating all the updates that have been going on. You can hear work behind me has taken place or is taking place. So we're going to jump in. We're going to see what's going on with the house. I found a new room and I've got new plans and the kitchen is very definitely in a state you will not recognize. So the Wix team are in and they are currently working on the kitchen. So let's go inside then. I take you in and show you what is going on with the house. And there has of course been a delivery of my kitchen as well, which has started to be laid out down here. So come with me then, I'll flip the camera around. Now, many of you will remember the first video I did here revealing the place to you in which I went through all of my plans, including the kitchen. I started with the kitchen and I'm working with Wix on this project. Now, it's been delivered. I went through the initial design that I went through with my design consultant, which you're assigned uh, when you get a kitchen with Wix. You get assigned your own individual design consultant that will go through every element of the build, help you with design, help you with your budget, and also put together something that fits your lifestyle and suits you. So, the initial design. It has changed a little bit. It has changed a little bit. First and foremost, the worktop we have here, the Wix worktop, you can see through it, it's actually really, really nicely done. This, believe it or not, is not solid wood. I've actually changed it for a laminate based worktop. Based on the fact that I wanted something low maintenance and also low cost, I've gone for a laminate based worktop. So you can see that in here. It's going to go in, obviously, and the team are in here now uh, working on the place. And this will be put in over the coming days. And I'll reveal what it looks like in a final video. We're also going to see the garage as well. Um, but you'll see it's not actually wood. It looks like it, but it isn't. It's a lot more low maintenance. And again, this was something the design consultant from Wix suggested to me. She said, you know, you're not the sort of person that's probably going to want to have to deal with a wood worktop. Marble worktops and granite worktops are quite expensive. So this is a low cost, um, easy maintenance option. Brilliant. Wouldn't have known that otherwise. So thank you very much. The rest of the kitchen is all around here. We've gone through a number of different design changes. So the team are actually in here now. Right. Coming through then, we switched into wide angle just to get the whole room in. But the kitchen is unlike you've seen it before. The chaps here from the Wix team are going through and making sure the walls are ready to take paint, plastering, whatever it is. I'm not a technical guy. They've had lasers up and all sorts of stuff. And we've done some, hello mate. I, I've actually just had to apologize to the chap here because, so sorry if you're eating, but that is a dead rat that was found behind that pipe there. So they've come in and basically, there's been years of other work gone on here. So you've got layers of flooring that's had to be dealt with. And this is quite common for older houses. Um, the team here from Wix coming in, they, they see this stuff all the time. So um, it's all in a day's work though, taking it in their stride. So I'm just coming in and poking a camera at you guys. <laughs> Everyone's scarpered. So I'm gonna show you some plan changes then, causing chaos. So we've tweaked the design a little bit further as well. These are just some drawings I asked the guys to, to pluck out. You'll obviously have a digital version of this that your design consultant will be working with you on. So these are just paper plans that I found just to show you, just to illustrate what we've changed. So this unit has been changed slightly and that has been a tweak that's been suggested uh, actually by the team here. And they just said, you know, it'll work slightly better, which is fantastic. And this is a little mock-up what they're working to. So obviously the doorway here is where I've actually just walked in. But this is what the kitchen's going to end up looking like. So they've actually suggested these shelves up here. Basically, I don't have an artistic eye with these things and the guys here know exactly what they're doing. So um, with the help of my design consultant, not only am I really happy with the way this looks, but it's also very cost effective as well. And I'm gonna go into costs at the end, the final video of this series. So all very exciting, all very exciting. Work is underway and what they're actually going to do as well is a really cool, next to the freezer, we're gonna get wine rack in here, which is cool. And again, as been suggested, it just works with the space so much better. And on here as well, another thing that design consultants suggested was keeping my original um, hood here and stove. And uh, I forgot what that's called, cook a bit. You, show, you can tell how much cooking I do. Um, but that was actually in really good working order. So again, to minimize costs and work with me and my budget, it's been tailored to me the whole process, which is amazing. So here we go then, it all looks quite scary with everything hanging out. The team here from Wix have also suggested um, improvements to the electrics and whatnot, and they've got an electrician on site now. Um, and, helping me improve how everything is laid out in here and to kind of avoid further problems down the line with the kitchen. So I'm really, really, really happy and I can't wait for the new sink to go in. So this is your final look as it is 
before it gets its lovely new Wix kitchen in here. And of course, if you want to speak to a design consultant, get a virtual mock-up and a configured version of your dream kitchen, obviously hit the Wix website and get that process started now. I'll leave the links below to that. And also there are finance options as well because cash flow is an issue for a lot of people, myself included, there is easy and flexible finance options as well. So coming through the conservatory, it looks like, wow, it is a building site at the moment. Um, however, so I've been speaking to a team at a glass box company about removing this structure up here. It actually leaks out of there slightly when it's really, really, really heavy rain. Uh, and I just don't like this flat roof here either. So what we're going to do, we're gonna rip that roof out because it's absolutely disgusting up there. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna rip that roof out and it's gonna be raised slightly to meet the house there. It's gonna be raised slightly up. Uh, and it's going to have, the initial design was to have two huge pieces of glass, one big glass square there, one big glass square there. Um, but the cost associated with that, I think is gonna be prohibitive to me. I think it's gonna be almost 20 grand just for the roof, which I just think is mental uh, without building costs and all the rest of it. So I am going to opt, I think, for a fixed roof, but with a big glass element through the middle of it, or a big glass square, or a couple of big glass squares, something like that. But, it's going to minimise the cost associated with this because ultimately it'd end up at about 11 or 12% of the price of the property as the plans are. So this is all going to come out. I hate it. It's absolutely awful. I mean, look, I don't know what that is. Um, it, it's just hell. So it's going to go. It is going to go. Other issues, my oil heating system over there, it doesn't work. And we've actually got some paving down here, which has reminded me. Paving director being in. I actually know the chap that owns the company, uh, Benedict Fowler, supercars of Ben, as he was on Instagram. Um, but I know the chap, he's come around here and we've agreed that we're going to do some landscaping out here and we're going to sort um, maybe a little wall there um, and it actually backs out onto something really nice over there. So maybe put a gate in, something like that. Um, but this is going to be sorted as well. But that, of course, can't be done until the glass box extension is done as well. So yes, that is all a work in progress. And as I said, my heating isn't actually currently working. It's stopped working since the last time I came here. And this fence blew down in the wind as well so lots to do ladies and gentlemen lots to do lots of money to spend which is fantastic right coming through then coming through nothing to add in here it's just you being used as a, a holding pen at the moment coming through then again nothing been done in there also in here nothing has been done again just being used as a holding pen I have had um, a company called Premier Property Services. They've come in and they've tidied the carpets as much as they can. They've done a deep clean on all of it. So it did smell a little bit like cat wee before, particularly down there. I think the cat had had a good old time in there. Take my shoes off because they've been cleaned a little bit. So running up here then, they're still a little bit damp. So you can see some damp marks. There is some excitement up here because I found another room up here. All these rooms are still the same. This is actually doesn't need any work at all. I'm quite happy with this, um, but We've seen around the rest of the place, I mean, there's nothing here, but up here. Ah, oh, multitasking at its best. We've got another room up here. It's boarded on the floors to an extent. We've got a window and we've got lighting. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. So yeah, this is the whole kind of floor plan of the house up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get it all boarded insulation and whatever put in put some nice flooring in and have a little projector on the wall um, and a sofa up here but obviously just call it storage lol that's also rubbish that's not actually a working water tank but obviously as you can see floor needs doing so that is the next stage in it as well so carefully does it we don't want any injuries at work hell 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 Again, this room, there is some, oh, you can see the flat roof from here. Awful, awful, awful flat roof. So in time, when the extension's done, that'll be a section of flat roof, but there'll be glass, a huge glass element of that. Ignore that, that's not crisps. Um, the other idea as well, once that's done up there with a kind of a little cinema room, I will have some sort of uh, spiral staircase or something there, some sort of semi-permanent. Uh, structure to get up there over and above this ladder. I've just left the light on, go back up. Well, that's quite exciting. I actually didn't realize that when I bought the house, so very pleased. And obviously this hatch, I'll have to extend slightly as well. This is a bit small, it's chaos in here at the moment. Let's go down then to the pièce de résistance. So then just before we go outside and I'll show you the garage, these are the shelving units. 
and these are the instruments that we're holding the shelving up. So nice kind of um, industrial finish and will go really nice with the gray paint. And you've got my appliances here as well. So I've got a new dishwasher and a new washing machine as well that's sorted out by Wix, but will be covered by the units. Again, it's all sorted by Wix and they will give you options on which ones are more cost effective, different features and all the rest of it. Because I don't know about you, but I know nothing about dryers washers and all that stuff and here is my original hob unit which they've left again not something people realize but you can retain some of your original appliances they won't just railroad you into replacing all of it which is very good there's my original cooker hood chaos all right let's go through then let's go through here we go then it's absolute mayhem out here um all this is kind of just um building works this is actually my old kitchen it's been ripped out chaotic so I have some plans for the front here. What I want to do, I want to rip down this wall and put like a gate here, take out all of this unit here, which is actually hiding the bins at the moment, tidy all of this stuff up here, get rid of that hedging and make it all kind of nice and landscaped with the help of Paving Direct as well. We're going to turn this into a nice landscaped little area with an off street parking space next to the garage. Speaking of garage, let's get in there and I'm going to show what's going on in there. Here we go then, you'll notice there is a new garage door on there from Alurol, sorted by the guys at Garage Concepts UK. I've got a new fob, and not only is there a new fob, but I can actually phone this garage from around the corner and it will open up. So let's, let's get her open. And you will see in here, there has been an enormous transformation. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am with what has gone on in here. Now it is not totally finished, but it's enough finished to show you for now where we are at. So let me talk you through the floor. This is called uh, a stone carpet. I'm not gonna go into it technically, but this is basically the Rolls Royce of flooring. Uh, I'll show you what it used to look like before. And you can see how amazing this finish is. It's got this amazing, like smooth texture to it. And I'm absolutely over the moon with it. The finishing against uh, where the standard flooring just kind of crumbled away into nothing is incredible too. A nice smooth ramp for the cars to get up and into and really nicely sealed, of course, up against the alley roll door. Really happy with the flooring and the white just means that it's gonna work so well. It's actually gonna be relatively easy to clean. You can just wipe it down. Um, but I'm really, really happy with that. Again, another finish here. There's not often seen, it's pretty, pretty highbrow. Let's put it on normal now so we can get the depth and the quality we need. It's got this kind of bronze finishing against the black. This is called Venetian plastering. So this is really, really kind of your high end level of plastering in there, but that is all the way around. It looks so cool, so, so good. I don't know if the camera's picking up properly, but I'm over the moon with how that's come out. That's really, really cool. Now. A lot of you are going to be saying, but TGE, you wanted a studio. Why have you not got a staircase or a proper staircase or stairs on the outside? Because I haven't got anything out here. There's nothing on the outside, nothing at the front. This is going to be the way up. So let's go wide again. This is going to be the way up. Because of the width of the garage, it's maybe just over five meters wide. That's just about enough for two cars. Your standard UK parking space is 2.4 meters wide. So it's about two spaces wide plus a little bit. Meaning if you put a big staircase up there or like uh, stairs across the back or whatever, due to the depth of the place as well, it's not that deep. I just don't have the energy, the admin involved and the security aspect of having stairs on the outside and a door on the outside and a dormer and the expense as well. So we've gone with this. This was actually my idea, to which Rob at Garage Concepts looked at me and said, you're mental, but yeah, that would actually work. Um, so this is the only thing that I've actually had any creative input in at all. I'm gonna go onto the lights in a second, so hold your horses there. So let's go on another ladder. The most house is just gonna be ladders, basically. Up here then, up here. We've got another enormous space. Now, the studio is not finished. You can see it's pitch black there. Um, so we're going to climb down. The idea is oh, G50 Targa, Carrera GT, matching specs. I can leave them in here with the roofs off if needs be. And up here, there is going to be a studio to work from. A glass hatch across there. Obviously, this hasn't been done yet. Uh, and I think the team here at Garage Concepts UK are done for now. So I may well get another team to come and do the studio upstairs. I mean, it's not a garage. I'm sure the guys there can do it. Um, 
but we're gonna get someone in to sort that and put a window up at the top and put a window up here and put a window at the front there, a big fat window there that may open up so I can get lots of light and lots of air through. Um, that's also going to get a lick of paint. It's seen better days, there's a little bit of uh, peeling on the front. So we're gonna get someone who does cladding and whatnot to come in, put insulation inside there, a bit of lighting, a uh, window and blah, blah, blah to match this. And also we're gonna get this green on the front of the house too. So I'm actually getting the windows renovated by the team at a place called Sharps, and they're local in the Cotswolds, and uh, they do a lot of really high profile work, which I can't talk about, but they're actually going to renovate the windows. So I'm not replacing the windows because they're fine. I'm actually gonna get them renovated by the team at Sharps. I'll leave all the details below if you need UPVC windows renovated. Now, final thing to show you is the lighting in here. This lighting rig was completely Rob's idea. He said, leave it with me, leave the whole design to me, and I will give you something absolutely spectacular. And that is what he's done. Very much in keeping with the fact there's going to be filming done in here. We've got a full on lighting rig. It looks like the set of Top Gear in it is absolutely wicked. Uh, and also you can see a lot of the finishing up here has been done along the top of the plaster as well. So, and the ceiling has of course been painted as well. Um, the, the finish before was absolutely horrendous, but it's this really nice dark gray finish. Now, so let's get the lights on. I feel like the Christmas lights. Whee! You can't really pick that up, but those are bright white, almost daylight lights and I can't wait to get the cars in here. It's gonna be so, so sick. I absolutely can't wait. Of course, before anything goes in here, the studio needs to be sorted upstairs because there's no point moving two cars in and then having a uh, tradesman coming in and out and whatnot going on upstairs. So that's gonna be sorted first. Cars will go in, but before that, there'll also be security as well. Um, so there'll be CCTV cameras, some hidden, some visible, some intruder systems, smoke, and there'll also be a private security firm monitoring the place as well. So I'm gonna go completely overboard on the security. Um, but if you can, why wouldn't you? I'm gonna be working with a really cool team on the security front as well. So yes, for now then, from the new garage and my new place here in the countryside, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little update. Huge shout out, as I say, to Wix for absolutely smashing my kitchen, quite literally at the moment. There is no kitchen to be seen, but I'm really, really excited to update you on the developments with my kitchen build. The kitchen is the heart of the home, and I'm really, really excited to get that thing sorted and actually start moving in and getting my life out into the countryside. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'll leave all the links below so you can get started on your dream kitchen or bathroom. They do bathrooms and everything else as well, in fact. So I'll leave all the links below to that to go and get involved and start your home improvement journey. And of course, the updates will continue over on my Instagram and there'll be a grand reveal of this whole place when it's done very, very soon with my brand new kitchen, with my studio upstairs, if it's done in time. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're all well and I'll see you all very soon. Ciao.